the analytics that I've seen from you and the dashboard that you were talking about, it's incredible. You can almost uh, look at all of the digital touch points that you have and uh, create estimates on, you know, based on all of these folks that I'm communicating with online, I can expect to, you know, from a rough standpoint, sell this amount of product, you know, and, you know, based on your fan base, here's the product that I will create. So it's, it's really, um, I just like the fact that it's data driven, you know, it's, it's not, there's a lot of people philosophizing about what works, but you guys have actually done it and have a good understanding of what actually does work. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's so practical that it, you know, it, it, it gives people pause sometimes. You know, we've worked with a few artists who you, you look at all the sources, um, you know, I mean, literally the way it works is you go, okay, well, how many people are coming to your website? How many people are searching for you on Google? How many fans do you have a direct connection with, either via email or Twitter or Facebook or, or whatever? And then we do know roughly what the conversion is. It's, you know, we've run enough campaigns. You know, it's not rocket science. If you know, um, you know, you know how many fans you can touch and you know what percentage of those are going to convert based on the offer and you know what your margins are on those offers, you can rel relatively, you know, roughly estimate your mm -hmm. revenue. I think for a business though, where it's always been that success or fail magic, that's a little, that's a little too precise for people. They, they're like, what about the X factor? Yeah. What about when I get that big hit? What about when, and you go, well, look, that, that's great. I think, I think, um, I hope you do. Um, but, uh, I, you know, here, here's what, here's, here's what we know can happen. Here's something actually known. And the reason I think that's so good, and it's not, um, it's, it's not practical for practical sake, it, it actually gets you to focus on the right things. Mm -hmm. Because you go, oh man, that's, that's, not as, that's not as much as I'd hoped. Instead of going, well, I guess I gotta get signed and have a hit record. Yeah. You can go, well, I guess I need to get more fans on my email list. Yeah, or you so can how adjust can your that? campaign uh, you know, along the same lines. Exactly. So if something's not working, you can change it immediately. I mean, I think that's the major benefit of online music marketing you know, is that there isn't that, well, there is a small X factor, but it's not like the traditional model. We're just kind of throwing things out there and hoping that it will stick with radio or, you know, yeah. retail or press. The X factor is really just quality, I think. I think if you mm -hmm. have quality product, um, you know, if, if, if people love your music and you really focus on those things, whether it's, I've got to get, I'm, I've got to get more email addresses, I need to get, um, you know, I, I, I need to get more people, so I need to get direct connections with more people, however you do that, and you really focus on that. And I think that's what's so great about the data is it just gets people to focus in the right places mm -hmm. um, on things that actually work rather than, you know, those... Spinning your wheels, yeah. Yeah, the, rather than playing the lottery.